guys welcome into the channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day let's go ahead and get into it okay so i have a warning for you guys all right if the title drew you in there may be a message here for you calabasas is extremely significant in this read um after i woke up out of this vision or this dream i was literally asleep when i received this um dream okay and it was you know my dreams be prophetic so i have to give y'all this message um basically when i woke up out of this dream the first thing that i heard was calabasas okay calabasas so i don't know if you live in calabasas um or if this has something to do with the calabas, uh, which is, it almost looks like a pumpkin or papaya mix, okay, um, fruit, all right? But calabasas is what I heard, calabasas. Calabasas is a city in California, okay? So you could live in calabasas, you could be from calabasas, all right? Um, or you could know of, an, of a person that's in or lives in Calabasas. Someone could be vacationing in Calabasas, okay? Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clear and precise messages as I bring this message. Father God, please be with me. Give me clear messages to give to whoever this morning is meant to reach. Okay, you guys, I want to pull three energies. Now, I'm going to tell you now, a cousin is very significant. This cousin could be bisexual or a part of the LGBTQ community, okay? Um, there's also a sister with two small daughters, okay? A sister that has two small daughters. These daughters would be your nieces, okay? Um, your father is very, very significant here. I feel like with the nine of wands, um, your father is the one who, who, who's passed on, okay, that wants you to receive this message, the nine of wands, okay? The, your father, who's gone on already, so this is someone, so your, your father will be, this, your father is deceased if this message will resonate with you, okay? Um, and this father wants you to know this warning. All right. Um, I don't know why that was so hard for me to communicate to you. Something's been really hard. Okay. Um, something was really hard. His passing or dealing with that passing was really, yeah, the death card. Okay. It was really, really hard. Okay. Scorpio, the death card. Um, someone here could be a Scorpio, someone that is relevant to this situation. Okay. Um, I feel like his passing really changed your your life or your per perception on things or you're still going through maybe the grieving process or healing from this passing but that's not the in my condolences okay my condolences it's not easy it never gets easy i'm gonna say it gets easier but you never forget them okay um and sometimes are easier than others and sometimes are harder than than others okay um y'all know my queen over there you know what i'm saying uh, my mother uh, passed away and so you know I think of her often but I also talk to her y'all have to know like it's not cliche when they say that you can still talk to your your loved ones because you absolutely can okay and they absolutely hear you all right take it from someone who's a medium someone who has the ability to be able to speak to the um to our ancestors okay and they be telling me how much they love and care about y'all so um this one is coming through as a warning from someone's father who has passed away. You're still very wounded from this passing, uh, from his absence, okay? And a Scorpio could be significant. Now, um, there's something significant about a boat and a restaurant or a boat restaurant, like a restaurant that's on a boat, okay? Um this message is it came through in several different ways but i'm gonna tell you what happened and then you can perceive it how you see fit okay but there's something that's going on in your life um that they're trying to get a message to you about okay um the phrase it's not sweet enough it's hard okay is significant i don't know if recently you've been eating something and you're like it's not sweet enough it's and it's hard it's crunchy okay like it's, it wasn't the right texture 
and it didn't taste right, okay? Something revolving around your food. Um, someone could have been a truck driver. A diesel could be very significant, okay? Or someone was a truck driver and they drove 18 wheelers, okay? Judgment in your energy, okay? Judgment is coming through in your reading. So in this dream, you guys, they're like, talk about the dream. Let me get one more card here. One more card to just kind of, there we go. Get all the facts out. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is the energy that is doing this to you. There's an earth sign that's doing this to you, okay? Um, or you're the earth sign that needs to receive this message. Either, if flip, taking a flip, it could be a bit of both, okay? But we have fire here. We got water with Scorpio with the death card. And then we have the earth energy here with the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the knight of wands, okay? I feel like your father was a fire sign, okay? This is for someone whose father that passed away was a fire sign, okay? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing military or reserve, something like that. Someone could be in the military or the reserve. Okay. In this dream, you guys, I was with my family, okay? It was my father, my sister, and two nieces, two small nieces, which I don't have. I have nieces, but they're not small, and they're not, um, and now when I say small, I'm talking no older than seven, and one was no older than, like, three, Okay. Um, my cousin was there, a cousin, he was my cousin, he was my cousin, I'm just going to say that, okay? Now, um, in this dream, you guys, uh, it started off at us being at like a party, okay? And you know how sometimes like you go to an event and like they'll have an, like a certain setup in one space of the event and then in another space of the event separated by doors, there'll be like another setup, different type of setup. Like maybe this is some type of family function. I'm not sure. Um, but or family dinner. I'm not 100 percent sure on those details. OK, I just know that one side of it was a party and the other side was like the restaurant. OK, so. Um, as I moved from the party side, I moved over to the restaurant side and I, I sat in a lobby of a restaurant that was on a boat and, um, it had these French doors that opened on the side of it where you can sit on the side of the boat and, um, like look out over the ocean. Okay. Like it was, it was, this was like ocean front. You had an oceanfront view, but the boat was tied down. It was anchored, okay? It wasn't um, at sea floating. It wasn't a yacht. Like, it wasn't like that. Although it could have been a yacht, okay? This could be a yacht that I'm talking about. I don't know. But um, it wasn't moving is my point. It wasn't sailing, okay? It was just docked. Thank you, Spirit. Docked. And there were people on it eating. There were other people in the lobby there. They were having their meal with their families and things like that. I didn't know them, okay? But um, myself and my two nieces, they were like, we want to go see the water. So I was like, okay, come on. So we go over and um, it's just me and my nieces. We go and we sit on the side of this boat where the doors are open on the side of it. These French doors are open. Someone could be French. Um, and we're sitting there and we're looking at the ocean. The baby girl, she gets sleepy. So she lays down um, on my lap. And then the biggest girl, she's sitting on the other side of me. And we're just sitting there and we're looking. And I'm rubbing my the little, my, my youngest niece's back. Now, mind you, I don't have, I have a niece. I got nieces, but they're grown. Both my nieces are grown. Okay. And so um, anyway, I don't know who this is for, but I'm sitting there, I'm rubbing her back and she falls asleep and my other niece is there and you know how kids do, they just be talking. And so she's just talking and I'm just kind of gazing out. We're pointing at the different ships surrounding this port or wherever we are. And I've never been to Calabasas, you guys. So I have no idea how Calabasas looks, okay? Now I was raised in California, but not this part of California, okay? Um, so anyway, um, we're, we're sitting there, we're looking out in the water, we're seeing these different ships um, <clears throat> that are just out there and whatnot. And next thing you know, we see, um, we see 
like a, a we just see the ships okay we just see the ships one of them is having some repairs done to the top of it and my the baby girl my niece the oldest one is kind of pointing it out like look they're repairing that ship i'm like oh okay that's cool so then my dad he's sitting at the bar inside of this lobby that was this lobby or this restaurant where there's other tables and stuff and um so me and the girls, my dad calls me over to the bar and he's like, hey, come over here. I want you to try this. I'm like, okay, here I come. So I'm like, girls, get up. Let's go see what, you know, granddaddy wants. So I take the girls to my sister and then I go to my dad and I'm sitting there with my dad at this bar of this restaurant. And, and, um, I see, I see he's talking to the waitress and he's like yeah i want my daughter to try this and i'm like dad what is it and he's like it's calabasas okay now i'm like calabasas i'm like what is it he's like it's it's um it's supposed to be sweet and it's covered in this sauce and it's gonna be good you're gonna like it and so i'm like okay let me try it you know what i mean i'm the type that i'll try um different foods i'll step out of my comfort zone and try different foods so you could be the same way um so i step out of my comfort zone i try this and i'm like like it immediately makes me want to throw up it tastes like blood okay like and i've never tasted blood other than like if you bit, bite the side of your cheek or you bite your tongue and it bleeds a little bit or something like that like i've never tasted blood for real like aside from that but in this dream i could taste it but it wasn't it's weird because even so i bit it and i was like oh like i immediately spit it out it was gross right i was like oh this is disgusting what is this and my dad was like wait what and the there was a waiter there like almost the guy that was busting the tables he's like i told y'all it wasn't gonna taste right it's not right and i was like you did say that but like you didn't say it was gonna taste like this and so my dad he's like is it that bad it ain't that bad I eat it all the time. Let me try it. And I was like, okay, dad, try it. So he tried it and he like, oh, you know, he like went to gag and throw up. And he was like, it tastes like blood. And we were both sitting there like, ew, this is gross. It tastes like blood. Okay. So I got a few things from this, you guys. Somebody somewhere in a restaurant is serving blood in their food. The second thing that I got from this dream is that there's someone who's being voodooed with blood, okay? Like, you're, you're, I'm hearing your old lady is putting blood in your food. I heard that so clear just now, like, I, I can't even. That's the warning. I don't know who this is for. I pray that the details that I've given you will help you, whoever this is meant to reach. Watch what you're eating. Watch who you allow to cook for you. Watch where you're going to eat at. Because something ain't right with the food, okay? It's not right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this warning. That's all I have for y'all, okay? Um, something ain't right with the food. I'm noticing here as well, before I go, I stated about a sister and you and, and myself, like in my vision, you were a woman. My dream, you were a woman. It was me. I was, I'm a woman, right? But there is nothing but men out here. So this is a message for a masculine man who either is in Calabasas, is visiting, or is living there, vacation, whatever you're doing in Calabasas, okay? Watch what you're eating because something's wrong with the food, okay? This has been y'all's message. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.